Hi, this is Dr. Gallenborg from Nortex Spine and Joint Institute. Today we're talking about a rather odd name, facet, F-A-C-E-T. So these are pretty much the joints of the spine. So anybody saying, hey, uh, they told me I have arthritis in my spine. Well, there's only one type of a joint. It's called facet joint. So facet syndrome is pretty much saying you have arthritis of the spine joints. Now, where are the spine joints? So here you have a low back, a lumbar spine, and you have the bones, and in the front you have the discs. The joints are in the back. So these are um, part of the uh, bony uh, protrusions from the uh, vertebral bodies that get connected to each other through these joints. These are called facet joints. Now, the main purpose of these joints is to uh, make the body be able to turn, uh, bending, twisting, uh, leaning, all that in the neck and in the back are facilitated by the facet joints. However, they're not actually designed to absorb vertical pressures. So if you have the discs that are not absorbing the shocks right, well then the shocks would fall on these facet joints and you would get um, accelerated arthritis of these joints and you would get back, mid back or neck pain depending on which facet joint is affected. <clears throat> other than this problems, any other type of injury or just regular wear and tear of the uh, facet joints can cause pain. Facet joint is one of the most frequent causes of back pain and neck pain and the key uh, when we do the workup or the treatment is to find out how much of somebody's pain um, is coming in fact from the facet joints and sometimes we can find that out by doing an exam getting history and physical advanced imaging x-ray ct or mri but a lot of times what we need to do is called diagnostic facet blocks either by facet injections or diagnostic meteor branch blocks. We have covered them thoroughly in the other parts of this website. I like the visual uh, demonstration of the facet problem that uh, you have in this um, uh, video right above this video. Take a look at that one as well so you can visually understand what the facet joint and facet syndrome is all about. Thank you so much for watching.